Hi, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. Today we're looking at a Maytag some Legacy Series. It's got a huge barrel on it. So this one was actually making noise. It said it was making a lot of noise. And there's a disclaimer. So if we look inside here, you see this these drips splash. This is from the main bearing. And you can also see it in here. Right there. It's the main bearing that has begun to uh, leak. And when it spins, it splashes it out to the sides. And so that would be the cause of the noise. Normally, I don't repair ma main bearings unless uh, you're in love with your machine. And so, this one, it depends upon how, it doesn't seem like it's leaking terribly, but it is leaking and it's making noise. So the bearing is starting to wear. The machine may still be usable for a while. Now he said it also had a leak. And if you look down here, you can see that There's been water down here, significant amount of water. It's like the bit we're washing pillows or something. And it doesn't seem to be that much water over here or along the bottom. There's no rust there. Um, But the pump is leaking. You can see the pump actually has water sort of built up around it. And then this pump, in order to take this pump off, basically there's a Torx screw inside there. And you need to take that Torx screw off. There's three Torx screws that hold that pump on. And so basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this to see how loud it is. It's just, if it's really loud, then it's going to go to the recycler. If it's not too loud, I'm going to put a pump on it. We're going to put it back in service. Some, uh, probably uh, put it on Craigslist for real cheap as a noisy machine. Um, they may last for quite a while being noisy uh, and hopefully this leak here that's splashing won't get too bad too soon I'll just have to sell it as is as long as it's not too noisy okay so this one is not too noisy so what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this water pump here and Rather than mess with the torques, I'm just going to pull the motor off. There's these four four bolts, two on each side. Pull the motor loose. Uh, let's see. Have to take the tension off the belt, loosen the belt, take it off the main pulley, and, and then we can tip the motor on its side and deal with it that way. Okay, we got the pump off. So make sure that you keep the belt where it's supposed to be right there. That's okay, correction. When I uh, took a picture of this pump and the belt, the belt was actually on this side of this mount here. So it's got to go on this side. The belt's got to go on this side of the idler as well the other side of that mount and that's the correct way for it supposed to be when it goes back on you can see this pump has been leaking you can see the water around the pump around the shaft area just 
dark stuff is from the water and the belt belt wearing it's actually not too bad the belt is in fairly good shape at this point so we're just going to leave that belt on and while you got this here you can put a drop of oil oil on your uh, on your idler here and what I did is I actually oiled the main bearings a little bit too and amazingly enough they quieted down to a degree here's a little tip when you're putting the motor back in probably it probably be easiest to hook the first top two up first and then put the bottom in second after the first top two and get yourself a little pry bar and stick it in here and then lift it up so that that bolt lines up with that hole otherwise it's going to be tricky so I'm almost done with this puppy just need to tighten up these bolts the mounting bolts put her back together and we're ready to roll so yeah, that's your uh, Maytag tip for today. If you need any help, you can contact me at applianceworks at yahoo.com. Or you can give me a call, 707-445-1591. And if this video helped you, please send me a donation. It's Bill's Enterprises, PO Box 7021, Eureka, California, 95502. Thank you.